Hello everyone. I uh, probably look a disaster, don't I? Uh, I'm trying my best to make this video as good as possible. This might be one of the longest uh, end of month update videos I've had because I feel I've got things I really want to talk about. Uh, but anyways, weight wise just now, I seem to be 12'9", but I may be a 12'10", I may be 12'11", it was just the way I just did it, whatever. Um, but yeah, the big updates of this month, uh, I have a new niece, so I have, and I have six nieces, nephews, whatever. Um, other big updates, uh, what else? Oh yeah, well, I just released my diabetes, well, I didn't just release it, I released it about two weeks ago or something. I just released my diabetes type 1 song. I don't, I got a fair amount of attention for it, but I just feel that, I don't know, that I worked so hard on this song, and, the like, me working hard on the song doesn't really come across, I don't think, like, I spent hours, I spent every single day trying to get this song to sound perfect. I have extreme audio issues with uh, Ableton. I have looked for answers on many different sites, many all over the internet, trying to find a thing. People don't describe things very well, especially to somebody like me with Asperger's. It's like, I can't read what you're saying. I don't understand what you're saying. So they're talking about like, you got to do this and put this in this modem and you've got to do that and whatever. You're, t you're talking absolute jargon to me, like I don't understand it. And even when I look up like videos of people doing it, they're like, oh you simply go here, you go this, you go this, 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 this. You do what? Like you're not very clear about it. Uh, I've tried my best to fix it as much as possible because at one point I couldn't even hear the audio. It was so bad. Uh, but that's what I said, like, any time the song gets saved, it's a lower quality to what it is when it's when I'm recording it. When I'm recording it, it's super loud, but then it gets saved and it's reduced the audio. Yes, I've seen people talk about a similar issue, but they're just very, very bad at describing it and showing you how to fix it. It's very frustrating. Um, um, and I've had other people look at it and people are like, oh, I don't have a clue what to do about it. Like. I am not a very techie person, like, uh, the, even this recording this, it, the quality is never, never as good as it probably could be, with my, my videos, they're not that good either, uh, I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to make bad songs, but all I ever make is bad songs, because they sound terrible, uh, maybe the, the song isn't bad, but the audio quality is terrible, um, and on the note of songs, I have no idea what 2024 is going to bring. I said the same thing last year and I managed to make a song every single month still. But I don't know if that's going to be happening the coming year because it's just... It's not that it stresses me out because it is my escapism. Like, I uh, use my songs to escape the life I'm currently living and whatever else. And it calms me down, brings me happiness. But if I'm making, like, the same song every single time, like, I can't play many different things. Like, the last song I made there, Diabetes Type 1, I did have a guitar bit trying it. But when I record the guitar again, it sounds dreadful. And it's like, in real life, it sounds like, do 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 But on there, it goes, dun da do da da I know that doesn't make any sense, but to me, like, you just, when, when you've got the audio, coming in it makes extra noises that you're not hearing when you're playing in real life and it's very frustrating um i've only actually released one song uh what was it even called a kind of radiant smile that had guitar had me playing the guitar in it and it didn't sound that bad but it still it doesn't sound like ed sheeran it doesn't sound like uh, chris martin it doesn't sound like anybody big that plays guitar does chris martin even play guitar no I, I, you know what i mean like it, it doesn't sound like real I don't sound like a real musician. I still sound like I'm making songs out of Play-Doh or something. It's very, very upsetting. Like, I definitely feel that my songs could do a lot better than they do do, uh, but I'm stuck in this rut where I can't make any songs better. Like, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Like, compare my earlier songs to my current songs, they are much better than they were. Like, if you go back to my Ooh word song, compare that to something that came out in the, the last two years, like, who, I, who am I? Or, 
Jag vet inte. Hur är, hur är han? God, brains, mest av. Destins, uh, feelings, uh, uh, maybe even the balancing act, diabetes type 1, whatever. You compare that to those songs, it's like, it's definitely a big step up, but I don't, I have no idea how I'm supposed to step up a step up. Like, how am I supposed to get even further than I currently am? It's just, it's insane. Uh, so, on the note of diabetes type 1 in the song, uh, I, I do genuinely wish people would understand diabetes a bit more, because there is a lot of people out there that have no idea, like... Like, if I was to walk in the street and start feeling dizzy, people might look at me and be like, ah, he's just drunk or whatever else, but no. If I don't get the right treatment or have the right things, I could die. Diabetes has fully ruined my life. There's been things I have not been able to get out and do because I've been worried about uh, the consequences, like, like I've listed in my song. For instance, uh, I used to take driving lessons, but I've definitely felt going out there, I feel a lot of pressure and a lot of stress because I worry that I'm going to just pass out and then that's me dead, basically. Like, I can't trust myself to drive. Um, and yes, there's diabetics that can drive and there's diabetics that can do all this, and I'm definitely not, like, I don't want to say I'm the worst diabetic, but I'm definitely not in a position where I'm completely out of control and I can't balance my uh, insulin levels out. Uh, but but I am definitely not the best either. Like, I have no independence with this disease. Like, I stress out every single day. It, it's like being married to it. It is like, it's like it's my conjoined twin or whatever else. I can't get away from it. I can't have just a day off from it. I can't have a break from it. Uh, for instance, like, Next year, I maybe have mentioned it before, but I've got a big bundle of stress to go under. Like, I'm going away to Amsterdam for my friend Stagnu. I'm also a main part of his wedding. Uh, so, I've got a lot, a lot to undertake. And, yeah, I want to enjoy myself, but all I can think about is the diabetes. The diabetes. It's there. The diabetes. Um, like, I'm not alone here. There's loads of people in the world that have fears and have doubts and have stress around their own conditions. People who are blind are afraid every day. People that are deaf are afraid every day. And so on and so forth. People in wheelchairs. People uh, with other um, mind conditions and whatever else. Like, there's tons of people stressing out every single day, worried uh, and don't feel correct and don't feel good and don't feel right about themselves and all other sorts. But genuinely, like I say, like, diabetes I would love it just to be cured one day, uh, or something like that, because I have I'm an I have Asperger's syndrome and I also have a celiac, but neither of those affect me as much as diabetes. Like having the two of them, I can go like I can miss a meal and nothing would happen. But if I miss a meal having diabetes, oh big consequences, big nightmarish times. So. To, to sum it up basically, diabetes, you need to be on top of it all the time, you need to eat all the time, you need to do your blood and jag all the time. Uh, okay, as for other updates of the month with like gaming, um, I, like I've said before, I have lots and lots and lots of videos scheduled but there's things that like happen and I want, like I want a certain video to come out at a certain time, like, um, Recently I reached 111 subscribers, which I never imagined I'd get up that high and thank you so much for getting me there. But unfortunately one of those subscribers has since gone. Uh, I don't know if that's just because of the content I was putting out, but like I say, I have things scheduled it's just the way they're happening just now. So like, I give you a heads up, as it currently stands just now, it seems to be a lot of Detroit Become Human and it seems to be a lot of Overwatch 2 that are coming out some sign of the some simultaneously? I can't speak, but I get, like, I'll be done with Detroit Become Human relatively soon, like, maybe within the next two or three weeks. Uh, Overwatch, no, Overwatch is not going away, I've got a ton more videos of that, and yes, I yes again, Audio Wishes, I'm dreadful with making those videos, like, it's hard for me to find good songs to go along with the videos that aren't copyright, like, I want to have good music playing along my video, but I can, and then yeah, you're like, oh, make your own song. I have done that, but it's always the same ones I use, 
and they sound dreadful and I hate it. I genuinely hate it. But then you look at other people, other other YouTubers and they've got music going along with their videos and it's like, oh yeah, this works, this is nice. I'm not even noticing the music, I'm focusing on the video or whatever else. I believe Overwatch has its own music in that, but I've I don't have that one. Whatever. Uh, especially not in my older videos, so I wouldn't be able to edit it. Uh, what else? But yeah, I, I myself, I'm not entirely happy with the way my videos are coming out in a sketch. Like, Sims 4, for instance, seems to be a distant memory. I occasionally have one of those videos out, but I still have videos for that. I just haven't edited them yet. I just, like, as it stands, I upload on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, and whatever date is the last month, that that video comes out as well. Occasionally I'll have one or two off days where I have one on a Tuesday or whatever else. Um, but if I can just get things edited or whatever, then I would have a full week of videos because that's the only space I have left to put videos in. Uh, I've said before, I have videos scheduled up till, what is it, like 2025? Definitely 2025. Um, I hope you like my videos, like, I do try, like, it may not look it, but I do actually spend a fair amount of time on the videos. If there's problems with the videos, that's also quite ir irritating, like, for instance, just now, I'm currently saving a video of a gaming, a gaming video, and it's taking six hours to save, for some mental reason, um, and then I have to keep going back to try and reduce that time scale. I've had ones that have been worse than that, I've had, like, my end of year uh, videos, which I stopped doing because they just take far too long to make, they took like a whole day. I think they took like 22 hours to save one video. It was like, why? How? Like, it's bad. I would probably need better up -days editing software, but I just, if I can make the video of what I've got, then I can't. I don't want to have to spend extra money on something that I'm probably going to have zero idea how to use. Because uh, that's how I feel with Ableton, it's like, it's good and it makes me help and gets my songs made, but there's a lot about it I still don't understand. And reading about it is very difficult to understand. Um, yeah, even this camera, I don't fully understand a lot of it either. Um, but yeah, I don't really think there's too much else to say. Uh, December... The song that's coming out in December it was supposed to be my November song. It's not. It's not the best. Uh, don't don't get put off by looking at it though. Uh, I'd probably just put you off it. Um, it's an all right song. It just it was not my end of year song. Like Diabetes Type One was going to be that end of year song, but but it it just felt right for it to come out on World Bit Diabetes Day. Maybe then I would have got a little bit more traction for it. Unfortunately, I didn't. It's not like I've ended up in the news like, oh, this guy's made a diabetes type 1 song. And even if the song did, it'd be like, oh my god, what is this song? It's so cringy. Um, but, like, uh, as for my songs, again, which I said before, the songs are very truthful. Like, 99% of the songs I make are about me or they're about situations I've been through. There's the occasional one that means nothing and there's the occasional one that's based off of another another thing that's happened to somebody else. Like apples doesn't really affect me and a punching bag hasn't really affected me. But they are situations other people have gone through. Um, but yeah, I mean you can find out a lot about me just through my songs. <laughs> anyways, I guess this video has gone on long enough and don't really have much else to talk about. 12 9 this month. Oh yeah, I didn't really actually talk about what I've done this month. I've done a lot more exercise this month. Um, still not as much as I would have liked to have done because over the last few days I haven't been feeling the best. Uh, but I have been doing a lot more weightlifting, things like that. Uh, but anyways, I guess that's going to be the end of the this episode. I will see you at the end of December and the last month in 2023, so see you then, bye!